Hi, I'm Fred, and this is Vlogmas 2020. I forget what day it is. What does it matter? Uh, today's topic, Legos. Today's beer. Obsidian Stout. <laughs> Lost my bottle opener. Um, down to the last uh, five, four, how many days is this? What day is this? <laughs> it's Sunday, I know that. So we only have until Thursday, so I guess that's four more days. Uh, my son has expressed interest in picking out the rest of my beers, I said. That's fine. You can pick the next three. The last one I know what I want to drink. I've had it before. I like it. And I'm going to end this on a high note. <laughs> oh. Yes, I am not much of a singer. Also, I keep pouring these hard, as that one said. One said. So let's hold off on this. Legos. <clears throat> Legos are much older than I am. I remember them only for part of my childhood. I mean, the vast majority of my childhood. I don't remember when I got my first set necessarily. But I know by the time I was 10 or so, that was my favorite toy. Um, I've gotten lots of Lego sets over the years. Um, I still have the majority of them, even though I lost some of the instructions along the way. Um... If I say the majority of them, I have all <clears throat> ones that I had third grade. So yeah, I had to be at least eight when I started doing this because it was third grade. It was a Technic like dune buggy. It was blue. It was like a blue seat. Most of it was like the black and gray as the Technic, Technics were back then. <clears throat> and for some reason, I took it to school for show and tell or whatever reason. And was it fourth grade? I, just, I went to a lot of different schools. Third and fourth grade, I happened to go to the same school, which is like the first time that it ever happened. So it was one of those two years. So I was eight or nine. I um, took it on the bus, and I lost one of the, the blue uh, wedge pieces from the, the seat. Um, it really upset me. Um, I still remember it many, many, many years later, so you can see it kind of had an effect. Um, so I lost that Lego. Um, over the years, I had a lot of my sets on display, and when my son was younger, he would climb, actual climb, onto a shuffleboard table and reach up and grab pieces, mostly to steal my uh, minifigs. I don't quite have all those back yet. He's older now, so he's starting to return my pieces. And then I bought the, uh, pre-ordered, in fact, the uh, original, um, um, what was that called? The Ultimate Collector's Edition, um, Millennium Falcon, um, the one that's like scaled to the minifigs, it was two feet long. I pre-ordered that one, got here a week early, so that was cool. Took me a while to build it. I had it for years and I realized I don't really need it anymore, so I sold it to a friend for quite a tiny profit. Um, <clears throat> it's good stout. I wasn't worried about this one at all. I don't think I've ever had it, but Deschutes, Deschutes, is it, is it no? I always want to put it in Deschutes. Uh, Deschutes is, or Deschutes, Deschutes, I want to say Deschutes. The brewery um, always has consistent stuff, even if I don't like all the stuff they make, the ones I've had, I've, I've, I've had to have had something from them before. Anyway, my point is, I wasn't worried about it. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I came to a point... <coughs> <coughs> Of where I can't stop coughing. Uh, a few years ago when I realized that while I like having toys, it is kind of fun, I've got a lot of stuff in my house I kind of want to get rid of. Um, since I do so much crafting, a lot of the things I, I do, the problem with crafting is you make things, which is why I try to give things away. I give things away that I make, um, unless I have an actual need for it. Um, so I'm trying to get rid of some of my other stuff, but I've got a few more Lego sets for sale, like the Death Star 2, yeah, Death Star 2, but the one that's like, you know, the tour, like the Death Star number 2, not the one set where it has a tearaway where you can have the different levels you play. Um, I've tried to sell that here and there on Craigslist, or not Craigslist, on Facebook, and it hasn't worked. <coughs> I have no idea why I'm so coughing. Ooh. Could be all this furniture moving I've been doing lately. It's kicked up a lot of dust. We've been dusting as much as we can. But we always find dust everywhere. I don't know what. Um, 
So there's a couple sets. There's a, a train set I found that's pretty cool that I just don't want anymore. Um, low priority. Oh, also the um, um, uh, Star Destroyer, which is a pretty cool model. I need to put that one together before I can list it, though, because that kind of got destroyed when my son was up there messing with my stuff. So I don't know if all the pieces are there or not. I'm not going to sell a set that I don't have all the pieces for. And if I, I'll put it together sometime, and if I don't have the pieces for it, I'll find it in my loose bins, or I'll just order them online and, and replace them before I can put it online. So, yeah, I've been just selling things here and there. It's just things I don't want or need anymore. Um, and it's very difficult. I have tendencies toward hoarding, but not to, you know, any kind of pathological degree, thankfully. Um, so it's, I have lots of toys from when I was a kid. I have toys from when my aunts were kids, like, that I got from my, my younger aunts who were not closer to my age than my mom's age, but, you know, younger. Uh, <coughs> and so a lot of that stuff, I know there's inherent value. I may not be able to get the value for myself, which is fine. So I have no problem giving that stuff away to different people who do find value in it. Um, sometimes I'll sell it or try to. Sometimes I won't. I don't. The, it's a list. Basically, I just don't want to leave my kids and other loved ones with garbage they have to get rid of, because that's what we tend to do. We collect so much stuff, and then it's on to other people to get rid of it. So I still find I still like Legos. I have I still have a trouble. I have a hard time not buying Legos for myself constantly. Um, it's it's been a few years, but it's a couple of times. There's a couple of the really neat set I like. But then I realized that, yeah, I may have space for it, but I have no no use for it, so why bother? The fun I get from building a set, I've got tons of sets I could just build. In fact, now that all the old uh, um, plans are online, I can actually build the ones I used to have and actually, you know, see them again. Since I lost the booklets so many years ago. Oh, yeah, two other things. Um, speaking of my son stealing my minifigs, within the last probably three or four months, <laughs> since the lockdown, essentially, he's uh, he's actually found the fun of Lego sets themselves. I guess it probably was a little before this. This was last year. Um, and so he's been spending more time building them and asked for a lot of different Lego sets, mostly Star Wars Legos. <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> I've got a cat distracted with too. Uh, mostly Star Wars Legos. Um, and it's kind of cool. Um, he'll probably end up with most of my Legos, quite frankly, but some of the bigger sets I'll just get rid of. <laughs> if I can, if I can't. He'll probably get them. Um, so it's nice that, you know, he actually enjoys that too. My daughter never really got into it. I was kind of hoping she would. Um, but it happens that way sometimes. Um, I didn't think he would either, but he finally caught on. A little bit later than I did, that's fine. Everyone comes to Legos in their own time. Although when you reach, reach a certain age without playing with them, it, uh, adult hands make it hard to put them together. <laughs> I, I'm still fine. I help him build his sets all the time. But, you know, if you ever had a mom put together Legos, and it's always a mom for some reason, mostly because guys will just scream at it and say it can't be done if, it, if they can't figure it out. Um, but, yeah, so it's kind of neat, you know, seeing him really like, like him and getting into him. Um, we had a little early Christmas with my wife's sister today, and he got a set of Legos, and he we were doing it via... Uh, video chat and chat wasn't even over. He already opened it up and started putting them together. So that's a good sign, I think. Uh, the other thing, uh, other related Legoness, is the Lego video games. Um, Lego Star Wars going way back. PS2. Yeah, so I got the first one, which was actually the prequels. Yeah, then the second game was the original series. Um, and I remember like getting that. I got it for I got it, my cousin and I exchanged it one Christmas. He's a few, he's like a lot years younger than I am, <laughs> twelve or fourteen. Uh, but we exchanged that game with each other, and uh, it was kind of funny. And neither one of us had any idea we were doing that. Uh, but I like playing the Lego games. It's one of the games that I found that with Tony Hawk Two, not one. One is impossible. Um, games that I had a chance of beating at a hundred percent. I. 
am a completionist in that regards. There's lots of Lego games I've beat to 100%. Finally, they got around to the series I don't care about. We have some of the Marvel ones. We've got Indiana Jones. That was one. Harry Potter. I skipped The Hobbit because who cares about Hobbit or Lord of the Rings? Most of my friends, not me. I enjoyed the movies. I read The Hobbit. It was not that entertaining, but then I realized it was for, you know, as a teenage, as a youth ed, youth fiction, whatever, young adult fiction. This is what they call it now. Um, so I wasn't necessarily a target audience reading it as an adult. It was okay. I have no interest in reading the actual books because that's, I'd rather spend my time enjoying my, my life not reading those. Um, movies are good. I don't have any opportunity or any reason to watch them ever again, though. Um, and <clears throat> that being said, one of the rings I wear is the one ring, <laughs> but mostly because I got it off a of wish for a dollar and it actually fits and it's kind of, quite nice. It's a thin ring, so it doesn't hurt my fingers to wear. Um, so there's some dichotomy for you. At any rate, that's about it. I still like Legos. I still try not to buy them for myself, but it's fun to be able to buy them for other people. Um, boy, ABS plastic is expensive, though, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't know what Lego's going to do in the next hundred years when we're, uh, you know, out of the whole uh, oil business. I guess they can switch to different plastics that are available. PLA is corn plastic. I mean, well, it can be a corn plastic. It's not as strong. <laughs> I think I spent too much time coughing. <laughs> so yeah, PLA is not as durable as ABS, but you know, Lego groups have to do something. They almost died once. Now they get a they get a good corner of the toy aisle. They got their own aisles in most toy stores. That's they got their own toy stores. They're gonna want to stay around, so they'll figure something out, I'm sure. Um, well, that's about it. Check out the rest of these videos. Only four more to go, which means it must be the twentieth. <laughs> Check out my other channels. Um, I did get my video out last night, my Minecraft video. I did start it very late. It took me two hours to record, <laughs> an hour to, to edit, and a half hour to upload. <laughs> Sometimes my internet connection's slow. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. I don't have a toast, so uh, cheers.